All right, Tom Sylvester, you're the founder and CEO of Lifestyle Builders. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on, Josh. So what is your approach? Uh, you know, there are a lot of people that offer great advice to entrepreneurs. Uh, and I think that you and uh, looks like your wife is very involved in, in the work that you do. Uh, and so what is your approach to uh, kind of coaching and mentoring uh, those who are choosing an entrepreneurial lifestyle? Yeah, absolutely. So essentially, our approach comes down to now really making sure that you understand why you want to be an entrepreneur and why you want to start a business. And what that really means is figuring out what you want your life to look like in the future. And then basically modeling your business to help you create that life. So what if somebody is working a regular job and they're like, man, I'd love to be able to sleep in. I hate my boss. I hate doing something that is not my own. Um, it, it, how can someone get a realistic, because, okay, so I've been, so I've, I've run my own businesses since the year 2000. So we're getting on um, or over 19 years now. And uh, it's been a roller coaster. Uh, and there's been a lot of tough seasons, uh, a lot of feast and famine. I mean, we've had, you know, we've had six figure months, and then we've had months where you know, we got to pay out way more than we're earning. And, uh, you know, and earlier in my journey, lost homes, bankruptcy. I mean, it was, you know, I probably didn't have as many mentors to learn from at the time uh, that there are available today. But um, how can someone get a, a more realistic view of what an entrepreneurial lifestyle is like if they're still working a job? Yeah, well, I, I love the fact that you brought that up because same thing with us. We've been, you know, entrepreneurs for 12, 13 years now, and we've definitely seen the ups and downs. We've seen, you know, uh, miscalculating taxes and having to come out of our personal funds with that. You know, we've also seen, you know, really good successes coming out. So the number one thing we recommend people that are in a job do is keep your day job. Yeah. You know, there's an appeal of entrepreneurship, especially if you don't enjoy your day job. But the worst thing people can do is leave that consistent income, that consistent um, health insurance, all of that, because entrepreneurship, as you said, is a roller coaster. So what we always recommend people do is first thing you want to start out with is figure out what do you want your life to look like in the future? So look out five years, 10 years, and just start describing what that looks like. Because once you have clarity on what the future looks like, then you can work backwards to say, okay, what are the different paths that will allow me to get there? And then which one seems like the best approach for me? And a big part of doing this is really figuring out your personal finances. You know, so a lot of times people are confused because they come to us for business advice, but we start out talking about their life and their finances. And it's because the habits that you bring up in your life will come up in your business. So yeah. if you don't have a good handle on how to manage your money and what your business needs to do for you, then you're not going to be able to start the right type of business and run it in a way that allows you to not only pay yourself, but pay your expenses, pay your taxes, all the things that entrepreneurs forget about. Yeah. What about uh, how uh, be being an entrepreneur affects your relationship? Um, can you talk a little bit about you know, what your experience has been with that and, and, and how that is all part of kind of designing and being, I'd say, you know, it, it feels to me like, you know, just being very intentional about, you know, your, your exit into uh, being a business owner and um, not relying on a day job. Um, I, again, I think it's another one where people don't anticipate uh, how this could impact uh, family, your relationship with your partner, uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, you know, that word you just used, intentional, it's one of the words that we use all the time the time. It's one of our favorite words. And the reason for that is because what most entrepreneurs do is we have an epiphany one day. It's either that we don't like the situation we're in and we want to change, or the worst one is that we get an idea and we think it's the best idea in the world. And we talk to a couple of people and they're like, yeah, that's great. Go ahead and do it. And we don't realize what's actually involved in building that business. So I, I fell into this trap. You know, when I graduated from college, I set a goal to retire by 35, basically because I knew I didn't want to work a job for my entire life. Um, and I figured that was enough time to kind of figure out how to make it. 
And the biggest mistake I make that I see most entrepreneurs make is they get the business idea and they just go all in with that without really talking to their spouse, their family, and making sure that the business that they're doing, their spouse is on board because not only is it going to take a time investment, it's going to take a financial right. investment, and it's going to impact your life. So I jumped in, I spent a whole bunch of money on a training, I tried to go at it alone, and what really changed for me, and I've seen change for a lot of other entrepreneurs, is before you dive into the business, take a step back and basically talk with your spouse and say, what does the future look like for you? Let's get aligned on where we want to go. And then we can talk about what the different paths are to get there and which one is right for us. So you and your wife uh, have a book coming out on my birthday, October 29th this year. And uh, it's actually available for pre-order right now at lifestylebuildersbook.com. Who needs to buy this book and why? Yeah. So anybody that's considering becoming an entrepreneur or anybody that's, you know, started that business, but hasn't been able to figure out how to get all the pieces of your business engine functioning together to allow it to work. Because the point of building a business is to be able to not only help your customers solve their problems, but ultimately take care of yourself. And where a lot of people fall into this trap is that they trade their day job for another job, which they call their business, but they end up working more hours and making less money. So anybody that's kind of stuck in that trap, they're trying to get the business going. They're trying to make that transition out of their day job and they're trying to figure out how to do that. Yeah, man, I wish this book existed because, you know, when I exited, uh, I was just like, well, I'm just going to burn the ships, see what happens. Worst case scenario, I go back and get a job. Well, I, I found myself in a position where I was too tainted that it's, it's really hard to go back and, and get a regular job. Uh, but at the same time, man, it was, you know, financially, it was, it was tough. And we were accumulating debt and, um, you know, eventually it just got uh, insurmountable. But um, yeah, I mean, what a gift uh, to be able to have a blueprint on uh, that, um, that transition. So, and what's, what's really cool is, uh, on, and I love authors who do this, I think it's absolutely brilliant, uh, is that you give away the first two chapters for free, you've got a, a Lifestyle Builder starter pack that folks can print out. So, I, you know, and I think, you know, someone who's writing a book should kind of follow your blueprint uh, for how you are publishing a book. Uh, and, um, because I, I just think that that's great. And now this is going to be broadly available. It's uh, on Amazon Books and you know Barnes and Noble. It's going to be everywhere. Yep. And um, you know, I, you know, first off, anything that we've done has been looking at what other people successfully have done before us and not reinventing the wheel. That comes to launching a book. That comes to building our businesses. Uh, but I want to just quickly go back to that point you said about leaving your job. And this is something that often gets overlooked, where like people leave their job often at the wrong time. And so yeah. we actually put a explicit section in the book talking about how to figure out when the right time to leave your job is and then how to make that transition because there is a big mindset shift and a big change to your routines and your entire life when you go from being an entrepreneur or an employee with a side hustle to a full-time entrepreneur. And so a big thing we focused on is when to make that transition and then what to expect and how to work through that because it can become very lonely and very overwhelming when you're suddenly on your own and you're accountable for everything. So for uh, all of our fellow entrepreneur friends, or uh, if, if you see talk of someone on Facebook or social media and they're like, man, I want to start my own thing. I want to join the ranks of other business owners. Remember that the book you need to refer them to is called Lifestyle Builders. It's on the web at lifestylebuildersbook.com. They can grab the first two chapters for free. There's all the free stuff around that. And then, of course, October 29th, they can get their hands on it. Uh, you know, really, I, I see 
Tom, us collectively doing a good work by making sure that this information gets in the hands of, of people that are considering uh, leaving their day job and, and uh, becoming a full-time entrepreneur. Because again, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of landmines out there. And uh, gosh, I'd, I'd hate for someone to have to go through some of the crap that I had to go through. Jeez, <laughs> uh, you know, you can, Absolutely. you can make this transition, you know, much more painless. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's by following good advice from people who have navigated those waters, uh, figured out where it can go sideways and, uh, you know, again, map out some, um, you know, map out, map out a, a, a route uh, that allows you to sidestep a lot of that or, you know, just plan in advance, you know, for the inevitable, like this, something like this is going to happen. And when it does, you know, because you've planned for it, you know, you've got the extra cash set aside, like taxes, I think is a big one. <laughs> it's, like, mm -hmm. it's like, whoa, they don't take taxes out of my, uh, out of my income yeah. on a monthly basis. Small thing, and it seems obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people are like, I don't, I, I need that money right now. I can't set that aside. And then, you know, tax time comes around and you're like, oh crap. Yeah, you know, that, that first year of full-time entrepreneurship, there's a lot of surprises for most people. You know, they, they don't realize the impact on their personal budget with things like having to pay for their own health care, which can be a significant expense. You know, they don't yeah. realize that they're actually paying more in taxes in some cases because their uh, employer was actually paying part of those taxes previously. So there's a lot of positives to having your own business and there's a lot of tax benefits and stuff that you can have, but there's also the other side that often isn't talked about, but can definitely sting you. Wonderful. Well, Tom Sylvester, you are the founder of Lifestyle Builders, and uh, you, along with your wife, Maria, uh, have the book coming out in October. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you, Josh.